DHBox X is a powerful and easy to use plugin for creating picture in picture and split screen effects in Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5. So here I've got a project with three clips which are layered together and on the top is a shot of a rather nice country house which sadly isn't mine. I'll just disable that clip by pressing V and you can see that underneath I've got a wood background and a shot of a lily which has been scaled down and moved over to the right. So the goal here is to have the top clip start as full screen and then scale down to a box revealing the other two clips underneath. So let's work on the top clip first. I'll press V to enable it again and go to the Digital Heaven category in the Video Effects browser and drag DHBox X onto the top clip. One of the brand new features in DHBox X is the addition of presets. There are eight built-in presets for common positions such as left, right, top left, top right, etc. As a preset is selected, it sets the parameters below, but you still have full control over those parameters. So presets can be really useful as a starting point to save time. For now, I'll just change the preset back to custom. Below the presets menu are the source controls, which I'll come back to in a moment, because I want to start by adjusting the target scale to 60%, so it matches the lily shot. I'll change target position X to move the clip to the left, and also adjust the left and right cropping so the box is more of a square shape. There's also the option right here to add a border to the box and change the border colour. Now if I play the timeline, that's looking pretty good, but so far I haven't really done anything that isn't possible by adjusting Final Cut Pro's transform controls. So let me introduce the box amount slider at the top of the parameters. With the box amount at 100, DHBox X uses the source and target parameters as set below. But if I move the slider down to zero, then the clip transitions to full screen. The benefit of the box amount controlling all these different settings from a single slider is that it becomes very quick to animate with keyframes. So I'll set a keyframe here with the box amount at zero, and then move the playhead three seconds later and set a second keyframe with the box amount at 100. Now if I play the sequence, the top clip zooms down from full screen to the size, position and cropping as set in the target parameters. This is a good point to mention another major new feature in DHBox X, the on-screen controls which you may have noticed in the viewer. These controls provide an interactive way to set many of the parameters. At the bottom left are the source and target buttons, so in target mode I can adjust the target scale by dragging on any corner the cropping by dragging on any edge, and the target position by dragging inside the outline of the clip. I'll just undo those changes to get back to the original settings. So what we've seen so far is part of what makes DHBox X so quick and easy to use, but here's where it gets really powerful. Let's say I want to scale up the clip of the house inside the box on the left, while keeping the scale, position and cropping of the box exactly the same. If I was just using the built-in effects, this would be the point where things would get complicated, but with DHBox X, it's as easy as adjusting the source controls. I'll select the source button in the viewer, and can then drag any corner to adjust the source scale, or drag inside the outline to change the source position. So let's see the result. The clip goes from full screen down to the new position I've set with the source controls and I haven't needed to change a single keyframe. So that's DHBox X from Digital Heaven.